Hello. Hello. So here it is at long last. The, the new Protractors. A project with a strange and dare I say it, protracted birth. It was the late 1990s when Kevin and I had the idea to do another Protractors serial. Unfortunately, in those early difficult years after college, we fell out of contact with dear Dan Bourne. Kevin and I made the decision to press ahead and recast. The ever lovely Sarah Campbell Foster came on board to give us her delightful Countess de Cappuccino again. Rob Benson Smith from the Genesis sketch show Benson and Hodges joined the cast as new agent Anton Ferrer. Also joining the cast were Genesis alumni James Hodges, Nick Watts, David Gates and weatherman Robin Johansson, reprising his role as Brian, head of the Protractors Research and Development Division. As strange as it was to go into production without Dan, we did all have a lot of fun imagining a scenario where the actor, Daniel Bourne, went off to Hollywood after the success of the original series. Like Honor Blackman quitting the Avengers to take on the role of Pussy Galore. Whilst the rest of the old Protractors tried to relaunch their careers with a failed reboot show. Production of the new Protractors started well, but as time went on, life got in the way. I went travelling and moved to London and started working on new and exciting projects. I was busy progressing my successful TV career and enjoying life in liberal London. Time got away from us, enthusiasm faded and the new Protractors was never finished. We talked about finishing it from time to time and even went so far as to uh, edit all the material together some years ago. And I remember after that last edit session saying to Kevin, I won't be able to do any more for a while now because my girlfriend's having a baby next week. Well, that baby boy turned 10 just a few weeks ago. But now the new Protractors is finally finished, albeit with a few missing scenes we've had to fill in as best we can. Our thanks to everyone who contributed to the project, especially to Rob Smith, who bravely stepped in to fill some rather big empty shoes. It's just as crazy, stupid and self-indulgent as the original Protractors, possibly more so. We hope you enjoy it. So remember, if there's a crime... They're still here to keep you in line. The new Protractors! Glad we hit it off so well. Chop chop. Company. Step on it, Countess. I never knew you had such persistent admirers. It must be my irresistible charm that keeps them coming. Save the witty remarks till later. We've got work to do.
the Countess de Cappuccino. Good evening, Countess. I think we proved to the peace conference just how easily compact atomic weapons can be smuggled into Europe. <laughs> Indeed, we did. I have the miniature international nuclear global exterminator here with me. Shall I begin to dismantle it? Start immediately, Brian. Heaven only knows what disaster might happen if a foreign power got their hands on my minge. No doubt. What are you doing here? This is meant to be a maximum security area. First class shop, Mrs. Steele. Shall we, Mr. Steele? Indeed we shall. Brian! Brian! The tractor. A penny for your thoughts, Countess. I was just thinking. First the Count, then Danny, now Brian. It just seems that everyone I get close to ends up dead. That's the nature of the game we're in. We play for high stakes. Well, Anton, what's your professional assessment? Well, there's no sign of forced entry at the window. I imagine the killers came through the door and took Brian by surprise. Killers? You're certain there was more than one? Two sets of footprints. A man and a woman's. Any more clues? Just these rather unusual champagne corks. They appear to have been fired from some form of high-velocity weapon. Constructed from some sort of plastic material. Well, if it was ever used to cork champagne, it must be a very inferior brand. If I'm not mistaken, this could well be Charmaine. And there's only one nightclub in London that sells this kind of beverage. The Dirt Box, King's Cross. Well then what are we waiting for? No disrespect, Countess. But a woman of your refinement might look a little bit out of place in this den of iniquity. Well, you'd better go in alone then. Take your radio watch with you. I want to report as soon as you know anything. You can depend on it. No one murders my friends and gets away with it. If the journey is short or long, just in case things might go wrong, oh, you'll feel just fine with the AA sign. It's great to feel that you belong. There are so many ways the AA can help you. If you break down on the road, we'll be there with the answer. And if we can't get you moving, our relay service could help you. Whether your journey is for business or pleasure. You'll be just fine with the AA sign. It's great to feel that you belong. Put the sun into summer with ITV and this week's TV Times. There are details of the super summer programs coming your way and features on the big stars and the new shows you'll be seeing. TV Times family scene is full of interest. Cookery, fashion, competitions, Stewpot's treasure trail, Katie's letter page, Roger Elliott's star forecast. I never knew there was so much in it. There's plenty for everyone, so put the sun into summer with this week's TV Times. Nothing tastes nicer than Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Oh. Lovely, isn't it? Ooh. And as anyone can see, every bar is chunky. Magic. Yeah. That's because there's a glass and a half of full cream milk in every half pound. That's why, sir, nothing tastes nicer than Cadbury's Dairy Milk. Stepping into the smoky atmosphere of the Dirt Box nightclub, Anton is served by a familiar looking waitress. When he starts asking awkward questions, she gives Anton the cold shoulder. Undeterred, he tries hard to pump her for information. Pulling out a special knockout cigarette, she blows a thick smoke in Anton's face, rendering him unconscious. Damn it! 
it, Anton. Where are you? Come on, love. Just give me that little bit more. Is that good of you, Jason? Hold it. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> okay, Sandy, let's take five. Touch her up, please, Julian. Ooh, promises, promises. Sinclair Studios. Jason, you're needed. I'm on my way. What's the meaning of this, you wee Nazi jackany? Calm yourself, hey, McStrap. Oh! Don't you tell me to come down! This last time your wee whipping boy shoots my game with pipes! Perhaps you should consider yourselves fortunate I did not use them on you. If it wasn't for that photograph, my great grandfather making love with a haggis, I'd have thrown you out the castle a long time. Well, what business you have in luck, I knew, I'll never know. Shortly before the end of the war, scientists in Germany discovered that by injecting the German nation with the Celtic blood, they were able to achieve a supreme warrior with high intellect and a tenacious fighting spirit, yeah? I was the only survivor of these experiments. It is therefore my duty to build a new master race, a new fourth Reich, with me, General Von Rumpenpumpin and its Führer. Look! Now I see everything. Cheeky swine hunt. Anton wakes, only to find himself chained to the wall of a dungeon at the mercy of Mr. and Mrs. Steele. General von Drumpenpumpin and Corporal Schmidthaus enter, demanding to know why the two henchlings have brought a prisoner to the castle. He's working for the Protractors Foundation, Mr. Steele tells them. In that case, says the General, let the torture begin! The signal from Anton's radio wristwatch is getting stronger, Countess. I think we're almost there. Any idea what direction we're heading in? Mm, by my estimations, we should be crossing the Scottish border about now. If Anton's radio is still working and he hasn't called in, then I think we'd better assume he's in trouble. Well, let's pray, Jason, that we get there on time. Anton's torture comes to an abrupt halt as the voice of the Countess de Cappuccino calls out to him from his radio watch. Realising the Countess and Jason are tracking Anton's transmitter, the General dispatches Corporal Schmidthaus to set a deadly trap. The signal's definitely coming from in here, but there's no sign of Anton. It's uh, just an empty room. Look! Here's Anton's watch. The tracking device is still activated. When is an empty room not an empty room? When it's a trap! Gas! Poisonous gas! There must be a way out of here. It's solid. There's no way out. Jason! Oh. Countess! No! 